Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we are looking at altcoins and their continued dump against Bitcoin. As I've said in the title, we've got a crypto crash happening at the moment, but a lot of people don't check these charts. They don't check what's going on between alts and Bitcoin. So in today's video, we're going to update the altcoins and see how far we've come since the dump in May. So before we get started, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Let's dive in. Now I know what you're thinking, this guy's not that funny and you're probably right. So we're going to look at what I have on the channel and go back and check out the timestamps for each of these videos and tweets that we've been talking about along the way through this crash in the market. Now, if you're just starting out to crypto, check out this uh, playlist right here. Wallets, crypto exit plan, buying Bitcoin. I won't go on about it too much, but you can find it on the channel. People need to get a plan and I'll show you the plan that we've been following uh, in this video today, the fear and greed plan. Twitter, this was on the 7th, so about five, six days now. This is what I'm looking at, the market to go down. And I'm looking for a bottom to start buying some Bitcoin. Because like I've talked about, I'm not getting altcoins. And that's also a tweet that I had very similar to this time here. It's Bitcoin's turn. That's what the cycle is about now. It's Bitcoin, then the alts will come back. Bitcoin, that was the tweet. Then we got these a uh, couple of days down, 10%. Then I saw my opportunity to be buying Bitcoin. 34K is where I got it. Sure, I didn't buy 31, but I want to see the signal first. And so I got my signal at 34. Now I've show, I've got the plan that I'm going to follow in just a sec. And there's a lot of easy entries. We don't need to buy the exact bottom. We don't need to sell the exact top. We just need to make sure that we're with the market, getting in to basically accumulate and then get out in a profit. As long as we get in a profit and our money is working for us, that's what investing is about. You don't need to be some hero and buy the bottom and sell the top. You just want your money to be worth more in the future than what it is now and hopefully more than any other investment you could have made. That's that's the only thing we need to do. The videos on the channel, 18th of April. This was before the market took a dip. This was on the day as it was breaking the low. And I'm in this video here just talking about the dominance. My target was around 49 to 48 and then also 42. We've hit that. The reason I had that target is that's my reversal target of Bitcoin gaining strength, which generally means altcoins uh, get weaker. And so in this video, urgent Bitcoin update, actually urgent. This was actually urgent at the time. Uh, but yes, look, what happens at these periods is you get a lot of hate when you're saying, I don't think we should be in the market now. This is probably not the right times. So just pay attention to that next time. You guys that are here now are probably going to, will hopefully be here when the market picks up again and you'll see these signals and you'll see the people that are saying you should be buying now, buying the tops. All right. So just really pay close attention to that. If you want to see all of the data, these are the videos going further back. That was the day there. And then I went, then I went live on that day as well as the market began to crash. Uh, and that, that's our big signal there. We had nine days down at this time. We we're going for 11 straight days down. I specifically talked about we're looking for a reversal in the next zero to four days. T um, typically, that's what happens, seven to 10 days down, and then we get a reversal. This isn't your traditional TA that you'll see across YouTube or Twitter. This is GAN theory. And so if you want to learn more about it, obviously check out GAN. Over 100 years ago, fantastic trading knowledge. The next video, these were the highs here we broke through, but I was not convinced that we were going up. So this is now early May. And these, this was the time that we we're talking about consolidating, getting out of our shitcoin positions, altcoins that we didn't believe in, not buying into newer positions. I also said in this video, I thought alts would have, uh, that would, that would go reasonably well if Bitcoin continued to trade in this sideways range. And for that period, they did, but they didn't go anywhere near as strong as what they were running through February, March, April. And so that led me to feel like something isn't quite right, but I couldn't put my finger on it just yet until we got that breakdown. And remember, this was the level, 60,500. We never reached that. And so I was convinced every single day I would talk about it. I can't believe I didn't get any more hate for that. But at the end of the day, this is what's happened. Now, 60,500, we didn't get it. Then we saw these signs of weakness. It started to break down. We started to climb with low volume and we begun to break down. This was the period, as you can see, May 5th, Everyone talking about Bitcoin going to 80,000, 70,000, 75,000 because they were looking at some sort of triangle setup. It didn't happen. Remember volume. That's what we're looking at here. So this is just the reminder of where we've come from so that you can see all the dates and make sure you go back and like the videos up, make that thing go blue. 
The crypto market cap, 1.5 trillion. Remember, we're following this because we want our 50% levels to stay intact. And if they don't, then we understand that we're probably gonna go down for a little longer. Remember, even at these periods, as we started to break down, that was the first period where I'm thinking, all right, we've gone up for 57 weeks, in some cases, 61 weeks on some of the other majors. But after a breakdown of 57 weeks up, we need to have a pretty solid accumulation time. And I'm looking at halfway points. So 57 weeks, half of 57 is around 28, 29 weeks. We're currently into about two months beneath that all-time high, which was the 14th of April. Dates are very important. And I'm not talking about just good news about El Salvador. One day we go up, next day we go down because Elizabeth Warren doesn't understand Bitcoin and says it's not good for the environment. That's all sort of noise. It's just noise. El Salvador is great. It's going to help uh, Bitcoin longer term. The other little smaller stuff is G, well, G7 is important, but what these politicians say about Bitcoin on the short term basis, it's just noise. And so that's the sort of stuff that moves markets a few percent one day, back a few percent the other day. So if you're trading it, that's a, that might work for you. But if we're looking long term, all we've got to do is just understand the fundamentals are the same. This is a reversal period. This is a time to be buying up. Now, that's the 50% zone for our total market cap, which is 1.34 trillion. I suspect maybe we'll come back and test the 1 trillion zone because we've got this nice area back in January where we did um, find resistance, then support. And I suspect we'll probably come back here, start to base out and move our way up again using our Wyckoff method schematics as well. This is the total market cap excluding Bitcoin. If I take it off log, we're coming back down to our 50% now. So also weaker than Bitcoin, which is known. That's what we're looking at today as well. And if this comes back, there's our next zone at around 600 billion in the market cap. So if you want to check these and tra uh, track it for yourself, go to total and total two. Fear and greed, the big one. This is what we've been trading on to get ourselves into the market. Even if Bitcoin goes further to 20 or 25K and sits that range out for one, two, three months, that just gives us more time to be getting into our market, getting uh, our plan set and preparing ourselves for the next bull's leg of this market. So the fear is at 28. We're not extreme fear anymore. That's to be expected after all of the good news. We've just started to break our way out of these old tops as well. So that's 27, another 27, and we're at 28. Now, these times back in June and May were the times that we were buying according to our plan. And uh, good work to the guys who are trying to get access to this. No, this is just for the Investor Accelerator guys in the membership, but it's nothing too ex difficult. You can easily put something like this together. All we're doing is looking for dates on the fear and greed where the greed, uh, it, the fear is 15 or under, and then buying Bitcoin set to whatever our dollar cost averaging plan is. And that's going to be up to you guys to make that up. Do you want to buy in 10 times, 20 times, however many rolls of the dice you want, how much money you have, divide that up. That's essentially what we do and what we're looking at in the membership. But you guys can also do that yourself. This is how much Bitcoin we are buying. This is how much Bitcoin we currently have, the totals. And in terms of a dollar, we have around 8,000 invested and 8,200 total, which gives us only a $200 profit. But remember, we're not trading this for the few days, a few weeks. This is longer term. This is months. And uh, ideally, we want our Bitcoin value to be 100, 150,000, which will give us some sort of profit of 300% and 25 or $26,000 in profit. So this is what you need to do now. This is the actually urgent part of every single video throughout this bear period of the market. If you don't have something like this set up, go and do it now. Now is your chance. This is very difficult to do when the market's going absolutely nuts. So if you want to know more, Investor Accelerator, link to this is in the description down below. Now let's take a look at a little bit of Bitcoin news, which is basically positive. We got some negative stuff, but again, it's just the same thing repeated over and over again by some other talk in head in politics. But this one, Bitcoin taproot activation set to lock in this weekend. So this is an upgrade for Bitcoin. You might see this in less than 24 hours. The date here is the 11th, so it's within 24 hours now. So you probably know the result to this by the time this video is released, but it, it pretty much looks like it's going to happen. So this is a much needed upgrade for Bitcoin. So this is looking really, really good. Next piece is businessman develops mining equipment using cow poo to mine crypto. All this is about is there's more and more coming out for Bitcoin. And I think 
this is just the beginning of the crazy ways that we're going to be mining Bitcoin. If we can get little green things going on all around the planet to mine Bitcoin so that what you're doing in your everyday life becomes more profitable, uh, I think that is going to catch on very quickly. That is going to be what spreads this like wildfire. That you can be doing your everyday, whatever it is you do, you're, you're running cows around your property. Obviously, you know, this is not for everyone, but people will find other ways to bring this into their life and begin to mine Bitcoin, create some uh, gains for themselves rather than sending the electricity back to the grid, perhaps, and get next to nothing for it. Elizabeth Warren saying that she doesn't know anything about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin again. I don't know who listens to this, probably mainstream people who are watching the news, but you guys here have probably seen it enough times to know that this is not really going to affect us long term. This is what we've been looking at over the last couple of days. Altcoins is what we're hitting next. Looking at the dump on altcoins. So multiple of them, many of them are continuing to drop against their Bitcoin value, which is why I say here, a uh, reminder 48 hours later, I put this one out on the 8th and it's something that we talked about as I showed in those videos earlier in early May and late April. But for me, that's not the time. I don't need to get the altcoins right at the absolute bottom of their dollar value and you know, right at the top, I want to simplify my plan. But if you're able to bring that into yours and you want to have something more complicated, go for gold. For me, this time in the cycle is just focus on Bitcoin, see what it's doing, and then worry about getting my altcoins because I can see them on the charts with Bitcoin and they're not looking too healthy. Polkadot, BTC, on the way down. Look at this. They're all very, very similar. We had this big spike up. So we go back. This is May as it started to come down. That was way through here. So Bitcoin started to dump in this period and the alts, well, some of them are moving to new all-time highs on their BTC value. But now they're beginning to dump as Bitcoin begins to just stabilize. And this isn't the absolute low. We could go lower, but I think we at least need to try to test 40K at some point and then somewhere between the 42 and 45. In that case, I can expect these altcoins to continue further and possibly take out these lows here. A lot of volume. We'll see what happens. That's just what I have as a roadmap for myself. No one can tell exactly what's going to happen, but you need to plan these things out. Cardano, it's definitely having its time uh, on a fall. Just didn't make these highs, and then that's a signal within itself to say that it's getting a little bit weaker here. 20% down from those tops. Ethereum, BTC, same sort of deal. Again, lower top. Check out that high, lower top, lower top. That's a typical... That bearish signal. That's a that's a GAN style bearish signal. And we've taken out these lows here. Another close to 20% loss on its Bitcoin value. Solana, same sort of deal. Top, this was as the market tanked. Remember the days here? So May and uh, mid-May when Bitcoin dropped to its absolute low or its current low of 30K. Those days, these major alts were making highs or close to their highs on their BTC value. And now we're seeing them just fail, which is, this is a very subtle sign. It's something to pay attention to. Didn't make that last top and now we're starting to fall away. The bullish side to all of these is that you wanted to see it reaccumulate in this zone here. So somewhere within these current parameters. And if it doesn't, then it's probably looking a lot weaker and it's going to come back and retest these levels here. I'm not that bearish just yet, but... I don't see a need to be buying these altcoins on every single dip. For me at the moment, it's just about buying Bitcoin because Bitcoin looks like the least risky at the moment. I'm just losing Bitcoin value if I happen to be buying these alts. So I'm losing 26% from the top. So if I put one Bitcoin into this at the top, now I have 0.75 of a Bitcoin. That goes with most of these major altcoins. Matic, big one that jumped 200% and now is down a lot. It's down... 50 something, 52% from that top. And again, you can see the pattern, lower tops, lower tops, lower tops. There's a high, 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 high. And it's just getting lower and lower. From the bottom, it's up about 57%, which sounds good. But remember, there was 223%. And this is against the US dollar as well. This was the big one that was everyone was raving on about getting massive gains on Matic. But at the end of the day, if they only bought the bottom and only sold the top, that's when you'd have the gains. I suspect many people have just held on through here expecting another pump. But generally, that 
doesn't happen, especially in these periods of the market where the sentiment, the bullish sentiment is has left and we're in a more bearish sentiment. Uh, this is the big Bitcoin dominance, which is another one that we've been looking at, like I showed on that first video back on April 18th, looking for these levels. If you play the video, you can see this as well. 42, the reason I'm looking at those, that's again, number again from a double top. And then this is a classic bullish pattern. Some will call it an Adam and Eve double bottom. This is a first higher swing low in GAN theory. And now we've started to move our way out of it. We need to get above that for the bullish uh, Bitcoin dominance to continue. Otherwise, maybe we just bounce around in here and work our way out for a little bit. Long term, months and months and months away, I suspect this is going to continue down. But for a period of time, I think Bitcoin is going to steal the spotlight. On to our last couple of uh, alts, and all this is Cardano. And it's just started to have a little bit of a fall down against the US dollar value. So we've looked at this already against BTC. And now the dollar is moving down a little bit. Like ADA, ADA versus USD. Now, this is not so bad because it has been able to recover better than a lot of the other alts. But we still have failed at the 50%. So ultimately, the best case for ADA is to just remain in this zone, just continue to consolidate in this zone. But I want to see this volume come back. The volume has just died out on this move. And it's just starting to pick up a little bit here as we move down. So until we see volume come back in like we did back here, and that showed us some lows, then I'm not going to be overly bullish on ADA just yet. I'm not bearish on it, not selling it. I just think there are better opportunities to be buying at a cheaper price. Like I want to see a reversal pattern. I want to see a low come in so that I can buy up ADA at a cheaper price. I don't want to just be catching every falling knife. And I don't think you should be catching a falling knife knife either. That's why I'm looking at these and I'm waiting for that signal to get me some more ADA. And that pretty much explains my position on alts. The altcoin market is crashing, but it's doing it ever so gently. It's doing it gently against the, uh, the dollar values and it's doing it even more on the Bitcoin values, which a lot of people don't watch. So they're their money is getting flushed out. It's getting moved back into Bitcoin and they could just be having less risk by holding Bitcoin. Now, of course, the disclaimer is that it's not financial advice and have your own plan because this isn't suited for everyone. The way I trade, the way I invest is not suited for everyone. And you know, I've seen that in the comments. It doesn't suit everybody. So make sure you do what feels right for you. I'm just offering my opinion and my thoughts on how I trade the markets from what I've seen over the course of time and how I've seen the altcoin and Bitcoin markets correlate between each other. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, get updates as these markets continue to evolve. Follow me on Twitter. As you can see, we've got a lot of updates there. Really easy to get back to you and on Instagram for daily Q&As. Also, we've got the newsletter down below. Leave your email and name, free newsletter looking at crypto, stocks, property, and of course, the Investor Accelerator membership, which you can find a link to down below. I'll catch you guys at the next video, but until then, have more fun to get more done.